Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh here in the beautiful, sunny, hot, and sweaty suburbs of San Antonio, Texas. We are here for a stop on the Taxation Theft Tour, and I've been working on our rig just now with uh, our good friend Eden, and so I'm a little hot and sweaty and stinky right now. But uh, we've got an event here in San Antonio tonight I'm very excited about, and then Austin tomorrow, Dallas the next day. And I just want to point this out because at our event in New Braunfeld last night, and thanks to everybody who made that possible, it was a lot of fun, uh, someone actually brought up during my talk this theory going around that I'm a former child actor, specifically... Uh, well, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to even say his name. And it's funny that this has come up, apparently, because there are a lot of people who are fans of this guy, and he committed suicide uh, towards, the end, obviously, the end of his acting career. And I just want to say that it's, it, it's fun, you know, some of these conspiracy theories. And yeah, oh, he's a public figure. Who cares? Um, but there are real consequences to some of these things. And, and I, I think it's, it's kind of... Uh, it, it, it's 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 fun to get into these theories, and and it's not really relevant, you know. And now, well, there are going to be people coming up. Well, this is proof that Adam is Jonathan, and he's the, obviously CIA Cointel Pro. So there's these videos going around, and and it's kind of like the um, you know, they they do these like there's a, there's a picture of me on the internet yeah, like this, and you can see all my teeth, and then they have this analysis of of this other guy's mouth next to mine. It goes, you look, all of his teeth are the same, and we have like a mole that's the same or something. And so th there's this conspiracy theory out there that uh, that this child actor, uh, when when he killed himself, it was all staged, and then he became political activist Adam Kokesh. Like, get real. And it 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 seems like a fun, harmless thing, but I just want to point out, like, please stop talking about this. Please stop bringing it up because this is uh, a story of a real American tragedy. This isn't like, you know just somebody died of old age or just whatever. Like this was a suicide and this guy has family members out there. And I would just encourage people to, to keep that in mind. You know, I've experienced this myself. In fact, I've met people who have specifically been talking trash about me and then met them in person and then have them been like, Oh, well, I, I just thought you were a public figure. I didn't think you were a real person. And it's like, okay, so this, this child actor, former child actor, and yes, if, if you're wondering, I, I'm not going to say his name, but he was uh, the, the star of NeverEnding Story and Ladybugs and a number of other films that were like actually, you know, ones that I enjoyed in my childhood. And so out of respect for his family and himself, you know, please don't, don't be forwarding these videos around. Don't be making a big deal out of this. And just remember that, you know, people who are public figures are real people too. And we have families, we have people around us who aren't public figures, who didn't choose to be, uh, you know, subject to modern internet harassment. So uh, for, if only the consideration of the family of, of this, uh, this guy who's passed, please, you know, have some respect and courtesy and, you know, let's represent the message of freedom as one of peace and love and, and respect, especially for people who have suffered and uh, lived through a kind of tragedy like this. So thanks for listening. And, and I hope you take this to heart. Mwah. Peace.